Hey guys, it's Sharon and today I'm going to talk about um, some of the items that are on sale right now. So this is called the Fix and Mix. Um, this is a really cool container. It's, it holds like 26 cups in it. Um, I use mine for when I make bread or like bigger salads. It's kind of like a festival but a little bit different. The festival um, has the handles and this does not. This is a little more shallow and, and wider versus um, the festival. That's my, um, how I can um, compare the two of them. Um, the Thasta has the handle. I really, really like that. So when I make bread, I normally make bread in either my Thasta bowl or in my Fix and Mix bowl. And then when I do for like the dough rising, um, I let it rise until the cover actually pops off. And then I'll um, beat my bread down and then um, let it rise again. And then I um, will beat it down one more time and then I bake it. But that's what I do with this. I just let it go now until, because um, I actually have some homemade buns I'm putting in here. I'm going to do that um, until that goes. So this is on sale right now for $25. So let me know. I'm going to put a bulk order in tomorrow. So if you need anything, you let me know. Um, another item that is currently on sale is the Piccadilly containers. Love, love, love these. Um, Right now you can get two, I believe, for $20. They're a little smaller. They're not as big as this one here. Um, so they would be great for like the camper or if you have jars of pickles, like the smaller jars, you can put them in there. Um, amazing for that. Like here I can fit a big jar of pickles in here. Um, you know what else this is good for? This is also great for cheese. Like if you buy the sliced cheese, you can put it in here and you can just um, pull it up and take one off. This is great for storing that. Sometimes you buy the cheese slices and they're in the containers and they're laying all over. If they're like the individual wrapped ones, well, you can contain them in here and just pull up what you need. This is also really good for um, pickled eggs. So you can put your pickled eggs in here. You can pour your water in here and then you can just throw in the fridge and everything gets to go. And then when you're done, your pickled eggs are ready. You just lift them out and you as you need. So... This container has many, many different varieties and different options. Um, so currently on sale, two for 20, I believe, if I'm right. If I'm wrong, sorry, let me know. Um, I think that's what I looked at right before. And then just to talk about like camping a little bit, this these are the squeeze it containers. I absolutely love these. These I have for almost all my condiments. Now, um, this is something that does not spill. So you just go like this and you open it, it does not spill. You have to actually squeeze it to, to get it to come open for the, for the liquid to come out. So just thinking about camping season. How many times do we have condiments and you're outside enjoying the wet and nice weather and here you have containers of ketchup, whatever it may be, and the flies are out there. Well, that's okay. I mean, not the, it's okay the flies are there, but they're not going to get into your food, into your stuff. So these are amazing. Also in the camper, you have a lot less space. You're more limited. These will fit great in the um, fridge, in the door for the, for the condiments. And I have dish soap in this one here. So you know how when you drive down the road sometimes and you have bottles, containers, and here, you know, you drive and things tip over. I've had it happen where I thought my dish soap was, container was closed and really it wasn't quite closed. And then when I came home, was unpacking everything again and I had dish soap all over so I had to clean up a mess. So that won't happen. Even with it being open, it's not gonna happen. It's not leaking out. Oh, no leak. And so this would be great for the camper. You can put it in the sink when you're done, um, lay in the sink if you want or put it in the counter or put it in a cupboard, but it will not leak for on you, which is great. Um, also, um, a lot of people use these for like um, honey sometimes. I use them for ketchup, barbecue sauce, mustard, things like that. And then I also most definitely my dish soap. I love that in there. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. My new site is up and running as of um, yesterday. I logged in today and so everything's good to go there. Any questions, like always, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. I will probably talk to you later. Bye, guys.